welcome to this week's GoFly Fix. This we're going to be looking at our uh, navigation cross-country training. And the first we're going to be looking at today, uh, this week, is the clear-off checks. So right now, Digby's on his first navigation training exercise. And what we're going to do, as a part of a demonstration, Digby, I've got control. You have control. Digby's done his flight plan, which is great. We're just a part of the circuit uh, for Caloundra, and we're on our track towards Mullaney. We're just starting to climb. As soon as you free the control zone, and it's safe to do so, it's time to get your maps out yep. and your, your flight plan. Yep. And we want to c conduct what we call our clear-off checks. Yep. Now, each school might have a different acronym for their, their um, the departure checks for a navigation exercise. We use clear-off. So it's pretty simple. Um, the first thing is C. Yep. So what we want to do is make sure that our compass, we're heading in the right direction. So yes. 269. Yes, 269. Yep. So we've got that on there, and we're heading yep, on the correct track. Yep. Um, L is for log. We want to log the departure time. Which is? Everything comes back to time. Hours. Yep, so put the time down on your flight plan that you departed Caloundra. Yep, so it's All the while, it's a bit hard when you're first doing it, but all the while looking out for other aircraft at yep. the same time and flying the plane. We want to check our engines, temperatures and pressures, make sure we're on the green. Yep. If they weren't in the green now, there's something issue, you want to turn back towards the airfield. Correct. Okay. Altitude, today we're going to climb to, depends on the cloud, but I would say around about two and a half thousand today with that yep. cloud base. Yeah, it looks like it. Yep. Um, R is for radio. Are we on the correct radio frequency? So once we've departed the CTAF, that's usually around 10 miles uh, from departure. Yep. We can switch across to area frequency. So we've departed now, so switch across to area frequency. We're now on area frequency, 129.0. Uh, yep, after radio, it's O for orientation. So even though we've got the correct track, you may have put the correct track down at the flight planning stage. So we're heading west, we should be seeing hills and mountains. If you're seeing ocean right now, you know there's something wrong with the yes. orientation. Yep. And just make sure, have a quick look on your map, yep. your whack chart, and make sure everything's looking where it should be in relation to that first yep. track, which it is. The next thing I want to do is fuel. Make sure that we've got the correct fuel tank on. If you had a low wing and you had a fuel pump that wasn't required to be on, increase, you might want to turn that off. Yep. Uh, and the last one is uh, field selection. So make sure that we've got somewhere to land if we had an engine failure. So I just want you to um, remember that every time we depart, we do a clear off check. Yep. Every time we do a waypoint, uh, we do a clear off check. Yep. And any time you board and you think, oh, there's nothing to do. Do one. Do a clear off check. Yep. Okay. Uh, with the fuel too, it also might mean uh, halfway through the flight that you might need to monitor the fuel and change tanks as well. Yep. Okay. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Well, yeah. <laughs> clear off checks one of the first things I get you to learn because if you get the clear off check, checks right and do them religiously every time, yep, everything tends to flow a lot easier. Yep. Okay. So let's start the navigation exercise. Fantastic. Okay. Thanks everyone for joining us this week on GlowFly Fix. Remember to like us on GoFly Online YouTube channel or go to GoFly.online for more free videos. See you next week. See you guys.